Welcome to BC Tigers guys, my name is Liam Harmon and today we are working on an advanced combination. Now, because this is an advanced combination, make sure that you are fully warm, make sure that you have got enough space around you and the reason I did a double sort of spin there is because this one contains two spinning kicks. So make sure you're ready guys. Well, before, exercise afterwards as well. You're advanced now, let's take it up a level. So today everybody, what we're going to be doing is working on this combination. It is going to be a snap punch up to face height, spin, reverse foot sweep, pull it back, spin, hook kick. First thing we need to do, go into our left stance, our left fighting stance. Now the first technique from your left fighting stance is your snap punch, yeah? Very simple technique, very easy beginner's technique. And all we're gonna do is just practice that 10 times. Face height, shh, off that front arm. Ready? One, shh, two, shh, three, shh. Snap it up, nice and strong. Four, shh, five, shh, six, shh, seven, shh, eight, shh, nine, shh, 10, shh. Fantastic, change your stance over. Same again, ready? One, shh, two, shh, three, shh, four, shh, five, shh, six, shh, seven, shh, eight, shh, nine, shh, ten, shh. Perfect, change your stance again. Now we're gonna do the same again, we're pencil and moving on our toes, ready? 10 times, one, is the spinning reverse foot sweep. We're going to break it down for you so it's nice and simple and then we're going to make it nice and fast and smooth and bring it into the combination. So from your left fighter stance make sure you've got space around you when you're doing this. Imagine you need enough space to be able to swing your arms from side to side without hitting anything. Same on the floor. Guard is up. First move everybody. We're going to step across. Go. So we step across the body with the front leg. Next stage, we're going to turn the body around and we're going to look. Now imagine that you're doing a side kick that's swinging around, almost like a spinning back kick, yeah? But across the floor. So watch again. We're going to step, we're going to turn, and all I want you to do with this leg, watch, swing it across. Really simple, okay? Watch again. Step. Turn, swing it across the floor. All right, just gonna do that five times. Ready? Left leg to stance, and one. Step, turn, swing across the floor. And reset. Two, step, turn, swing. Now when I'm swinging across the floor, my leg is completely straight. I'm aiming with my heel first and dragging around. Three, step, turn, swing. Now you want to bring the leg either centre or just past centre. Four. And five. Good. Now what I want you to do is change your stance. So we're going to do the same from our right fighting stance. Ready? And one. Step. Turn. Swing the leg. Reset. Two, step, turn, swing the leg. Okay. Three. Taking our time with this one. 
four, and back, one more, five. Brilliant, quad shed legs, back into your left fighting stance. Excellent, so the adaptation I want you to make now, the change I want you to make now, is as you step and you swing your leg around, I want you to drop your height. Your whole body must squat down as you swing the leg round. Now the reason for this is quite simple. If you're trying to sweep from a high position, you're up here high, your opponent is going to have to be really close for this to work. Now, if you drop your head down, what that allows you to do is extend your leg out further, making your technique more usable. It's more likely to reach. The only time you can use it from a stand-up position like this is if your partner's really close. Yeah? And in reality, you want to sweep one leg, not two, just to make it more likely to work. This is a powerful sweep when you get it right, so you can physically um, spin and take out two legs in one sweep, because it is strong enough to do that. But it's easier and more likely to work on a single leg. And if they've only got one foot on the floor, that probably means they're kicking. If they're kicking, they're probably further away from you. Hopefully this is all making sense. So what we're gonna do to make it more effective is we're gonna step across, and as we spin and lock around to the other side, I want you just to drop. Same technique, swing the legs across, reset. So all I've done different is from here, I've just dropped. Yeah? Now you can do that as you're spinning. So you can do it like I did, which was step, turn, drop, swing, or you can step, and as I'm turning, I drop here at the same time. I find then you generate a lot more power through your sweep as well. So, let's give it a go, guys. We're gonna use the same spin and reverse foot sweep, but we're gonna lower our height. Ready? Five times. One, step, turn, spin. That's it, so we're dropping down a little bit now. You'll need good balance. That's why you need to be fit and strong so that you can balance on one leg and rotate. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. And change into your opposite stance. We're going to do the same now in our right fighting stance. Ready? One. Step. Turn. Drop. And swing. Two. Three. Four. And five. Great work, everyone. Brilliant. So that is your spinning reverse foot sweep. Next, we're going to bring the two techniques together. Left fighting stance. Good. So what we're going to do now, from that left fighting stance, we're going to do our snap punch first, and then drop and spin. What I want you to imagine, though, is how that would be used. So we're in a fight, yeah? You're in a fight. You've punched somebody in the head. Their hands have come up, somehow to block, to cover, to move, whatever. Their focus is up here, where they're being attacked. You then, will spin and drop low, okay? You've done the punch, they may even be trying to counter with the kick. And that would be a perfect opportunity. So you've done a punch, they try to counter with the kick here. As that leg comes, you bring your body away, drop, the kick misses, you sweep, there leg. All right? So now you're starting to understand the application, how it actually works. So that's what we're gonna practise now. The snap punch, get their attention high, spin and sweep. Ready? Left hands. And one. Snap, step, and sweep. Two. Three. Four. On the next five, I want you to tweak it a little bit. 
So we're going to go up to 10. On the next five, we're going to change the step into just a rotation. Yeah, so just like a pivot. That way we're going to spin faster. You imagine if I've gone one and pivoted at the same time, I'm already halfway through the spin, which means I'm going to go faster and they're less likely to see. Ready? From six. Six. So it should be a bit faster now. If you did that correctly, you'll see already it's faster. Seven. Again, 10 times. First five with the step, second set of five without the step. Ready? One, step, and sleep. Two, three, four. Five with the without the step with the pivot to rotate round. Ready? Six, shh, shh. seven, shh, shh. eight, shh, shh. nine. Sometimes your foot grips the floor or it doesn't spin enough or there's little tweaks that you need to make. That's fine. Still happens with me. So as I'm working here, you can grip the floor sometimes with your foot as you slide in and it doesn't get rain properly. Same when you try and use it. So what you can do in real life application is as you've done your stack punch and you've gone to spin, you can actually put your hands down. So you get to here and you can drop and put your hands on the floor here. This helps balance yourself out and makes the technique work a little bit better. Just be aware, if that's using a competition and your hands are down, a lot of the time they won't score it as a point. Okay, because your hands are on the floor. Good. Okay, so the next stage is spinning, reverse foot sweep for speed. So we're going to do bench on our toes. We're going to do 10 on left and we're going to do 10 on our right stance. As you can see, I've changed the camera angle a little bit for you so that I can move away from the wall because you do need that space to work. If you're too close to the wall, as you're spinning, your arm can catch, whatever else. So you do the same. When you're working for speed, make sure you've got the space around you. Okay? Left fighting stance, best on your toes, spinning reverse foot sweep. Now, as you do it for speed, I'll allow you to put your hands down if you need to or if you want to at any point. Yeah, just to keep your balance if you've gone a little bit too quick. All right? Or you can keep them all, it's up to you. Ready? One, shh, two, shh, three, shh, four, shh, five, shh, <laughs> six, shh, seven, shh, eight, shh, nine, shh, ten, shh. I pause. You might be a little bit dizzy because I know I am, right? So take a second. In through the nose, out through the mouth, just let that <laughs> vision get back to normal. And we're ready. Right stance. Same again. Ten times, based on our toes. Spin in reverse foot sweep. And one, two, three, four. So, left fighting stance. Now, a spinning hook kick is this way. We step across, we turn the body, back leg comes up, 
hook across the center. If I show you that in one smooth action, step, turn, and hook. So that is your spin and hook kick. Now we're gonna break that down a couple of times and then bring it together, and then speed. Ready? So, from your left fighting stance, step across, plant the foot. Rotate the body, look over the opposite shoulder. When you've twisted, you've added like torque to your body. Your body's ready to explode, like a spring or a balloon that you've rolled up. Yeah? As you let go, it goes and undoes. Same with your body, you're wearing this body up, and as you let go, bang, the power comes in that spin hook. Okay? Ready? One, step, two, turn, three, kick. Now with the spin and hook kick, you've got two points of contact, either the heel of the foot or the flat bottom of your foot, ball of the foot. Yeah? Heel is not killing to power, ball of the foot is for distance and reach. So depending on your objective, trying to knock them out, use the heel. If you're trying to score a point at a distance, ball of the foot. And again, ready? Two, step, down, look, hook. And again, three, step, twist, hook. So it's starting to make it a little bit smoother now. Four, step, twist, hook. And five, step, twist, hook. Fantastic. And to the opposite stance. Right fighting stance now. Same again. Ready? One, step, twist, look over the shoulder, get leg comes up, hook across the centre. And again. Two, step, twist. Hook. Now you notice I always look at the camera before I kick. That's the same when you're fighting. Always spot your opponent before you hit them. All right, and again. Three, step, twist, look, hit. Two more. Four, step, twist, hook. And one more. Five. Good. Go back into your left stance. Now, the second variation. Same as what we did on the spinning reverse foot sweep, the step you can remove. Okay, you can remove that step. So, all you do is twist that front foot. Twist and spin, okay? So, it ends up like this. Twist, spin. So it becomes a lot faster, much harder to defend against. Okay, ready? Go up. And one. So spin and hit. Two. Three. Four. Five. Great work. Change your stance. Same again. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five. Great work, shake off those legs. Next stage, spinning hook kick for speed. So the best way to do it for speed and to keep up is to pivot the front leg instead of stepping it across. So that's what I want you to try. If you need more practice on this, don't stress. It took me many, many years to get my spinning hook kick to the level that it is. And I'm assuming by continuing to practice, it's gonna get even better. Same with you guys, yeah? Keep practicing until you're at your peak and then get past it, yeah? Always push for the level that you never thought you could reach. So, left fighting stance, we're gonna bounce on our toes. We're gonna do it left stance for 10, right stance for 10. Quick though. Ready, bounce in. And one, two, three, four. Now, if you kept up with that without falling over, I'm very impressed. At the minute, everything's just going whoosh, whoosh for me. So I'm assuming it's doing the same for you. All right, let's go into right stance. If I can keep my balance, we'll go just as quick. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Anybody else as dizzy as me? Anybody else as dizzy as me? Well done, guys. Take a second to recover. Let your eyes focus again. Deep breaths. 
Fantastic. Right then, everyone, let's go into putting this combination together now. All the techniques on their own can be quite difficult, yeah? So if you manage to get through on the individual techniques, amazing, well done. Then we're gonna start bringing it together, which requires more skill. The snap punch is one of the first moves you ever learn. So, we don't need to practice the snap punch into a spinning reverse foot sweep standing still. We can go straight into bouncing. Because this move is very simple, everyone can do that move. So we don't need to practice this and then into the spin. Okay, without the bounce. We're just gonna go straight into the bounce. Ready? Left fighting stance. Bounce on your toes. And we're gonna go, snap punch, spin, reverse foot sweep and back. Ten time. Yeah, we're gonna go for speed though guys. If we've done the spin and reverse foot sweep for speed ten times, then we should be able to do the same with the snap punch. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Remember what I said about pivoting on that foot. Yeah, pivot on that foot as you're doing your snap punch, you'll spin faster. Again. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Great work. Change your stance. And back to Let's go guys, let's go, ready? that separately if you want it another time but it's only a snap punch that we're adding before so ready one snap punch step spin through pull it back spin again hook and again two snap spin around back spin through three spins because there's a double spins. That's why I'm giving you a bit of a break in between so you don't end up falling off. Ready? Six. Nine. 
Ten. Excellent. Right, stands now, guys, and we're going to do the same again, taking our time with the double spins. Ready? One. Shh. Snap. Shh. Shh. Two. Shh. 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 Three. Second again, get your composure back to normal. Make sure you can stay straight. Good. Six. Shh. 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 Just getting the techniques to flow nicely together now. Seven. together for speed based on our toes. Now because I know it's such a high intensity combination, we'll do five, chain stance, five, chain stance, five, chain stance, five, chain stance. So we end up doing ten in each stance, but just broken down into fives and switching so our uh, vision <laughs> still works by the time we come to the end and nobody falls over and gets injured. All right, left fighter stance, we bench on our toes, all the way through, okay? If you fall over, not to worry. If I fall over, I won't edit it out, I'll leave it in and you can have a little laugh at me, okay? Ready? <laughs> Face on your toes, left fight is stance, guard up. Nice and fast. One, shh, shh, shh. Two, shh, shh, shh. Three, Ah, I can already feel myself getting dizzy. Four. <laughs> Travelling forward. One more. Five. <laughs> Fantastic. Change your stance over. Take a breath. Whew. Get yourself back to normal. And we're going to do five on this side now. Ready? So I'm not gonna lie. Right stance now. Last five to finish, really. That's it.
and five. Yeah. Guys, it's been a pleasure to teach you through today's session. Tough one, but that's what advance is all about. I'm impressed if you got through this session. You're amazing. Ready, Sant? Boom!